ovens pretty much have one job to do, and they've always done it pretty well. Sure, salmonella pops up once in a while in food, but let's be honest, that's often due to user error or wannabe top chefs experimenting with dishes like chicken tartare. Now there's an oven innovation that's working double duty, bringing the heat while giving us the chills. Here's Albert Lawrence to explain. Let's be honest, after a busy day at work or caring for the family, fixing a healthy home-cooked dinner can be an ordeal. Even if you take time to prep everything in advance, the food needs to stay cold until you preheat an oven or stove and cook the meal. I jetted my way to Cambridge, Massachusetts to meet busy foodies Kevin and Corvia and Robin Liss, who developed a robotic refrigerator oven that does all that while you're away. And it's called sous vide. What is a sous vide? So sous vide is an automated cool to cook kitchen robot where you can load a complete meal, a protein, a starch, a vegetable, and a sauce. You can set it in the morning or the night before, tell it what time you want to eat dinner, and go home to a fully cooked meal. How did the idea for the sous vide come into either of your heads? We thought about our busy lives. We said, you know what, maybe the technology is there to automate cooking. In order to make sure that you can set it in the morning or the night before, you have to store the food cold, safe, and then transition to that cooking process so you can come home to a fully cooked meal. So is this more of a refrigerator or more of an oven? It's both. The core to our refrigeration technology is water. Water is really efficient at transferring cold and hot into food. It's actually much more efficient than air. So the way we do that is you load your sous vide with water, and then that water is circulating in a water jacket around the food to keep it safe and cold. We have multiple ways that we cook within this appliance. So if you're talking about the traditional sous vide, we will use the same water jacket technology to warm the food and, and the proteins to a specific temperature. Then we're gonna take that same water and we're gonna inject steam over the vegetables and make sure that they get steamed appropriately. And then for pastas, starches like rice, we're gonna actually take some of that water and inject it into the food and then cook with it using more traditional cooking mechanisms like boiling. You can use your own food in the sous vide or cook one of hundreds of prepackaged dishes developed by sous vide's culinary wizard, Dan Snedeker, in their test kitchen. The sous vide's got four different cooking zones. We've got a protein zone, vegetable zone, starch zone, and the sauce zone. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and we'll take the chicken breasts All right. and we'll add them to this pan here. Go straight in, exactly. We placed everything in its proper pan, even the sauce which stays in the container. Then we added water to the sous vide and the chicken, scanned our meal card, and waited two hours for everything to cook. That sounds like a long time, but normally you wouldn't be home, and slower cooking prevents overcooking. So let's take a look what we got here. Got our green beans, Ooh. nice and toasty. And our chicken. Oh, that's good that's to go. the winner right there. So okay. what, what do you say we plate this up? Let's do it. Is there like an ice cream maker that's a part of this as well? <laughs> we'll see what we can do. <laughs> bon appetit. Bon appetit. 